What's up everyone, it's your boy Norbrad89 here bringing you another rad movie review and today we are going to be talking about VHS 85 which is the latest addition into the VHS franchise. This premiered at Fantastic Fest, did the festival circuit and got some good word of mouth and now it is currently streaming on Shudder, that's where you can check it out. For me this was kind of a big bag of mixed, we're going to discuss more in details, like I said we're going to talk about the positives, the negatives, the rating and then I'm going to send you all home, so let's do this. Roll it. So VHS 85, like I said, is the latest addition to the VHS franchise. And if you're not familiar with this franchise, it's a anthology found footage horror franchise. So what that means is they are found footage stories, but it's multiple stories within one film. And for me, that's really fun. And that's easy to grab onto for me because found footage isn't typically a genre or a subgenre of horror that I gravitate towards. So it being short stories that are like 25 to 30 minutes, they're easier for me to latch onto. And I think they hit harder for me. And that's why I've been really like championing the VHS franchise. Cause I really think there's only like one bad film so far that they've done. So let's discuss the positives right away for VHS 85. My top favorite positive about this film is the 80s uh, aesthetic, the 80s nostalgia and the way that they do the editing, the camera glitches, you know, all the little effects that they have in the film. It does really scream 80s and there's a lot of elements in all the stories that make that date it to that time. And that, like I said, the 80s is one of my favorite eras of horror or favorite eras of movie and television in general. So it being that it has that aesthetic that really screams like out to me and I gravitate towards that. So that's easily my favorite thing about it. Another great thing about this film is that they have so many talented directors and I gotta name them all. So I'm gonna look down, sorry if I'm looking down, but we got David Bruckner in here, Scott Derrickson, Gigi Saul Guerrera, Natasha Kermani, and Mike P. Nelson. So really a fantastic group. And like I said, that's another one of my favorite things about VHS is that they get different directors and writers for every story that way each one has its own flavor and its own vibe and my other positive is that there's two really good stories in here so there's two that I really like one of them is called Techno God I really enjoy that one that has to do with a uh, demonic spirit that's in the digital world and the way that the that episode or that part is presented it's just fantastic I really do love that one so Techno God is definitely one of my favorites another one is God of Death which is by Gigi Saul Guerrero that was written and directed by her and man oh fantastic it's just a great one because it has the subtitles it follows this Mexican like kind of film crew that's in this building and then it collapses and then you have a rescuing crew trying to save them but then they end up finding out that the building is built on top of like I think it's like an ancient Aztec temple or something like that to a to a god and it's whew, the way that one goes down the way it takes place that's what I love about found footage feeling like claustrophobic and in danger and threats like that one really has a threat level that's high and I think those two stories are my favorites and the really the ones that are potent that hit the hardest. So let's get into the mixed and negatives and one thing that's wrong with VHS 85 and this might have been a little bit of hype for me because I was highly anticipating this one. I was expecting this one to be a banger out of horror films that were coming out for the rest of the year. This one was like high up on my list on expectations and I think they really did mismanage the tones because there's like some really serious stories in this one but then there's some that are like kind of handled with a tongue-in-cheek comedy approach and I just don't think the tones land like VHS 99 was kind of more straight comedy like it was like dark comedy really dark comedy but VHS was 99 was all comedy VHS that first film is pretty serious in tone very serious all the stories and this one they kind of tried to blend those two tones together and I don't think they really worked and like I said it being anthology one thing that's going to hurt you when you do an anthology film is that just the placement of the stories can sometimes mess up the pacing of your film and also if like I said not all the stories are as good as some of the other ones that's going to hurt the film because it's going to drag it's going to kind of put you at a high with some of the stories and then when you get to another story it's going to take you down to a low so like I said the pacing and the mismanagement of tones really did hurt this film. 
And that's what sucks, because I really wanted to be a champion of this film. I'm not saying this is an awful film. This is a horrible film. This is still a film that I recommend you check out, and especially because it's October, Spooktober, the fall season. It's the, the best time of the year to watch these kind of films. So I still recommend you check out this film. Like I said, it's currently streaming on Shudder right now. But VHS 85 for me, my main feelings, like one word or sentence to describe it is that I was, I was let down. I didn't hate it. I didn't like it wasn't something that offended me or anything like that. I was just kind of let down by it. But in terms of a rating in my book, VHS 85 is going to get a 6.5 out of 10. It's still above average because I can see the directors and the care and the editing and the writing. And like I said, it's still there. I can see the talent behind the screen. And like I said, there's two stories in here that are really good. And I do have to watch this film a second time. It's different. Every time you watch a film a second time, sometimes they land differently. I My feelings might increase on it or they might decrease. You never know. So like I said, I really do have to give this one a second watch and this is a film I would return to it's like I said it's not an awful film that I'm like oh I'll never watch that again kind of thing it's just on the lower end of the totem pole in terms of the VHS franchise but these are just my thoughts and my opinions on VHS 85 please let me know down in the comment section what did you think of this one so we can discuss down below because like I said these are just my opinions and we all have different ones that's some of the best things about us but please drop a like on this video that definitely helps out if you're new to the channel subscribe subscribe because you don't want to miss a thing and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I post a video because we've got some other spooky videos in the pipeline and we also got a special Friday the 13th live stream. Yes, we have a Friday the 13th in October coming. It's going to be an awesome, fun live stream, live stream so make sure you stop by the channel. But most importantly, I want y'all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.